ok now we will try do the same completely it's the same example but now with the cube mix then i will start the new project the project new i will here select my f4 uh, f401 the lqfp 64 pin package and my it's my board have the stm32 f401 ret then i will select this this one if we remember good very well then the led was on the pin pa5 we set this pin as a output i can with the right click here also add the label then i put here the led and now the button if you remember from the last last example was on the pc pc13 then here i select the pc13 as an input here also i add the label it's called button this is everything from this part the clock configuration is not necessary to change can can be left on the 60 megahertz why not in the gpos here i can only check if everything is how i want it you can see here is the gpo state after configuration is slow the mode is output push pull it's okay no pull up no pull down Output uh, maximum output speed is low, and I have label. It's okay. And PC13 is in input mode. It's also correct. And no pull up, no pull down. Everything is okay. Now I can I can uh, set the menu project and the project settings. First, I select my correct folder. It will be the GPIO GPIO3 project, for example. And I, in my case, I will create it for IR by note. Then click OK, and I click on the generate. And I open my project. Now in AI, I open my application, my user, my main, 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 main C, and here I can have the same GPO in it. And you can find he also enabled the GPO C, GPO A, enable my pin, my button, and also the the right pin. Everything is okay. Everything is how how I wanted this. And then I can do here the same same thing. I put here if again the HL GPIO underscore. I'm not sure I press control space and I first read the pin. Then which pin I can here look. I think it will be button part and button pin. Then here I put the button part. Button underscore pin. It's equal to GPIO pin score reset. I remember this from the previous uh, hands on. And if it's equal, I will change the state of the pin, HL, GPIO, the score, I think right pin, it will be let GPIO underscore port, it will be let underscore pin. And it will be state, and here I use the GPIO pin 
reset why not if the button is pressed the led will be off if i release the the button the button will be unpressed the led will be on for example it will be off i create here else I copy this I change the set on set i will try to compile my code it seems that i have no errors then it's perfect i can flush my code start flushing huh? I'm here, I start to run my code and now my LED is, is on because I not press the button when I press the button the LED is off then my code is working but you can see with the CubeMX is the situation much much faster than before when we do everything like this on our own when we put everything into, into IDE manually then this is usually faster faster approach than the than the previous previous example then now you can handle all all this all these functions on your own then you know now how to how to work with the pins i hope now the pins are no problem